scientific instruments have a tough job, but this one will make your eyes water. Designed to catch the worst offender. Target identified. Preparing to launch in three, two, one. Launching the Fart Capsule. Hang on, what? Fart Capsule? Is this even science? Why are farts being captured? And who's doing all the farting? It wasn't me. Fart capsule is just a nickname. We're here measuring methane gas. It's all to do with testing water quality. In big reservoirs like this, water can emit methane gas, just like in the human gut. It's caused by sediments in the water being digested by the microbiology that lives here. They convert organic matter into methane gas, which bubbles to the surface. And we measure these methane levels to learn more about the quality of the water. So hold your nose, and I'll show you how the fart capsule works. It's designed so the chamber floats just above the surface of the water. When the methane bubbles out of the water, it's caught by the capsule and a sensor logs the concentration of methane gas collected inside. We use this concentration data to calculate the level of methane emissions coming out of that part of the water. And we can draw out a gas sample for further testing. The fart capsule isn't our only water testing device. Meet the penetrometer. This is a free fall device that quickly sinks and hits the mud on the bottom of the reservoir. It's fitted with six accelerometers that record the speed and distance that the penetrometer falls through the water. It also has a very rapid response pressure sensor, so it logs on board exactly when the probe hits the muddy bottom and stops falling. Then we pull the penetrometer back up to learn more about what's underneath the surface. We analyze the changes in pressure and acceleration. This tells us whether the mud on the bottom is compact and hard or thick and soft. The softer sediment is made of recently deposited organic matter that's easy to digest, a good indication that more methane will be released in this area. So we've studied the water from the bottom and from the surface, but how about from the air? This is our water quality drone. It's a multi-copter that we can maneuver to parts of the reservoir that a boat just couldn't reach. Using a hand control, the pilot can land the drone on the water surface thanks to its attached landing pads. Then, the onboard probe can take water readings right on the surface. Even better, if we need to, the probe can be lowered down while the drone stays up in the air. The real-time data feed gives us a water quality snapshot straight away. We can learn a heap of details about the water, from temperature and chlorophyll levels to how salty and cloudy it is. From there, we can detect outbreaks of algae and work out how much organic matter is in the water. More organics means more methane, and the warmer the water, the faster it's made. So with our testing tech, we've got water quality covered, and the only methane you need to worry about is your own. <laughs>